Attack 80, Defense 80, knows best for you. Yeah, right. Oh! Okay. Hello, people. And welcome to part two of Undertale. Right now, we're in the middle of a fight because I had to backtrack not just through the saved area, but through the entire game. And right before we started, this happened. So, uh, so yeah. that's fun. Yeah. I uh, also, apologies if the audio sounds kind of crappy. My headphones are broken. And I don't have a, like, good mic either, so I'm just kind of using my laptop mic. Yeah. Both of us are having technological difficulties. Uh, my computer has been having seizures every couple so often, so that's fun. Yeah. I'm trying to get better at these fights. They're somewhat hard. Yeah. <laughs> for me, at least. I'm not used to having to dodge, like, little things in a box. I'm used to being able to dodge the opponent. I just like, go all ham on them. Uh -huh. There's no Z-targeting in this game. It's, uh... No. Uh, what was it? We had to press the green one, I think. Oh, red. Okay. Okay. Oh, we go again. This motherfucker. It's Mike from Toy Story. Ugh. Uh, uh, ow. Oh. I'm not noticing the ones coming in from the side. Okay. What an... Uh, he's making puns! Oh, my, gosh. It's my job. Okay, let's hit that switch. Flip the switch. Flip the switch and click that bitch. That's what you. Oh. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> it heard you. Oh! Oh! I went right God between the carrot bombs. I went right between the carrots. Okay. <laughs> Dinner. Oh. I missed it. Well done. Uh, I can't spare him yet, I guess. Oh, I think I have to eat the green to get rid of him. Yeah. Yeah, eat your greens. Alright. It is mandatory to eat your vegetables. Correct. Or they will kill you. <laughs> eat your vegetables before they kill you. Well, this is not the same room that we were in. No. Oh. I hate walking. <laughs> walking. What a novel concept. Okay. Right. Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> Do we get rid of first the ugly bug or the ugly vegetable? Wait. I think like. Don't we have to, like, get rid of the other guy just so the bug will leave us alone? Oh, that's right. He doesn't like people. Yeah, he's trying to self-isolate. He's doing a bad job. Did you see how many bugs there were? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the enemies in this game. Yeah. I'm guessing that's where you're supposed to go. 
Yeah. Ah, yes, the dead tree. Yeah. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? A little bit, yeah. There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. You know what is also irresponsible? Growing a tree in the middle of the road. Yeah. Wait, go down and there's, there was another path. Yeah, I want to save first. Okay. Seeing such a cute, tidy... I'll, I'll read it again. <laughs> Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Yeah, looking at houses makes people feel good. Okay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's see what's other. Let's, let's see what is the other way. A knife! Oh. Whoa, you found the toy knife. Oh, I thought, I thought it was real. Yeah. That's disappointing. You equipped the toy knife. Can threaten people with it. Yeah, we can slowly prod our enemies to death with it. I can cut. The, I can cut up the vegetables. <laughs> Ribbit, Ribbit, just between you and me. I saw Maria come out, come out with this a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. Well, you intimidated to talk to her. Rip it. Okay, that's just if you went that way first. To tell you to go here. Alright. Let's go in the house. Did you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will I will hold off a snail pie. Ah! I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. You know, uh, an even better surprise would have been guiding me through those dangerous ruins. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Ah, so this is, uh... It's very orange. Yeah. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. So, there have been others before us. She left the light on that too, so that's gonna your electric bill. <laughs> An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Okay, that's the same thing. What's in here? What's in the closet? What's in here? What open okay. I can't okay. open the closet, but I can Wait, sleep. You can get in the bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. And I just put it in my pocket. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to look at the shoes. I want to look at that art. <laughs> okay. Uh. I want to look at the pretty flower. Oh, there's one. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. What's in here? Oh, this one's blue. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. The cactus? <laughs> You peek inside. Scandalous. Oh, that that's right. It is Toriel's room. Toriel Book. It's 
an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Is that the type outside that like we recognized? I guess. Known more commonly as water sausages. We have a lot of good material to make the title of for this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Give us that exposition. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because it was dead. Because she was feeling bonely. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. The rest of the page is with jokes of a similar caliber. I don't like this room. <laughs> uh. Inside the drawer, flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Look at that. Oh, it's a mirror. I was going to say, like, look at that view, but it's boarded up. It's you! Hey, okay. look. Touch the water sausage. Oh. <laughs> oh! It is a water sausage! Okay. <laughs> Moving on! I don't think we're going to go down that hallway again. Instead, let's Touch go... The water. It's good on the- oh, okay. Kitchen. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Hmm. Speaking of fire, do we go in here? <coughs> Can we go in here? There's always something behind the fireplace. You're gonna crawl in it as it's like being used? Hmm. The fire isn't burning hot. Just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. If we can put our hand inside. <laughs> up already, I. <laughs> up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a, a curriculum for your education. We don't know how old the kid is, so. Hmm. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I- Oh. Well, the only question we can ask is when can we go home? What? This- This is your home now. Um. Would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. That's a lot. How about it? Do we want to hear about all 72 ways you can use a snail? Do I? <laughs> I don't... Uh, I'm kind of curious about that. I'm oh, sure we could pick the other one in a minute. Here's right, an exciting. Let's enjoy the next ten parts. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Wow, I never would have guessed. Wow. Interesting. That is good. I'll, I'll have to remember that. Well, they're they're kind of big for shoelaces. I have uh, how to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Seems like the right size for Toria. Hmm. Oh. 
It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. Hmm. And we shall call it this land. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. This newfound land will be called Newfound Land. Huh. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Oh, wow. Uh, That's cool. I guess. There's more books. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. What's that over there? More crayons? It ain't a water sausage, that's for sure. <laughs> Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2000 X Team. 2000 X Team. That was my favorite year. Yeah. That was well, a really good year. I wish we could go back to those times. A lot of nice Listen. albums came out that year. Yeah. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. So, you built your house on the exit slash entrance to this place? Yeah. What if someone wants to come to the ruins, okay? They're going to have to go through your house. Yeah. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive Ooh. child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore will kill you. Asgore? Well... I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Yeah, let's ignore that. Go to your room. No, my room's orange. <laughs> it's my least favorite color. No, I like orange, I just don't like the room. Yeah. Dude, I can't open the closet. All, I'm not orange staying. Orange is nice, but too much of it is just... Ugh. I can either get all orange or all blue. I, I don't... I want to mix. <laughs> Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. <laughs> you want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh shit. Oh boy. Toriel blocks the way. Attack 80, defense 80 knows best for you. Yeah, right. Oh! There's a big goat hand. Yeah. She just slapped you. Okay, that's, that's child abuse. So... <laughs> I can leave. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Fire! Hey, we... That's more threatening than any of the other things that the enemies have thrown at us. Toria looks through you. Okay. Slapping your kid is one thing, but roasting them, that's just too much. Yeah. You tried to think of something to say again, but... No! Ugh. Okay, I got hit two less times. Yeah. Where did I get a stick? Oh, is that like the knife, or...? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, the stick might have been your original weapon? I don't know. I don't remember seeing that ever again, though. Oh, the hand makes fire! Oh, they track you! Oh! I was... I guess hiding in the corner does work. Toriel is acting aloof. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I don't want to hit her, but she did slap me and burn me. <laughs> She's preparing an attack! Some caretaker she is. Trying to burn us because we want to yeah. leave the house. 
Okay, um... Yeah, just... We can't, like, spare her or anything. Yeah. Maybe we have to do, like, something else? Oh, oh god! Oh. They're right about the attack part. Yeah. You are in bad shape. Not anymore. Butterscotch pie, your HP was maxed out. That's her loss for baking me a pie. Okay. Th that does- that did three damage. Just one of those. Yeah. Okay. God. Okay, I- Maybe you have to, like, spam mercy? I don't know. Okay. Oh! That got a reaction. I get this funny feeling that you're gonna die again. Um, yeah. <laughs> two hands! <laughs> well, she does have two hands, so. Okay. We're gonna. S okay. Uh, it gets another line of dots each time. Okay. Just spam the sparing. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm trying not to die, that's what. Oh. I I don't think you can eat the stick. I'm gonna try. Do the stick away, then pick it back up. Oh, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, oh. <sighs> okay, that wow. Turn on the Discord notifications. Okay. Toriel looks through me again, and there's nothing that I can do, really. Yeah. I guess attack, you gotta keep sparing and hope Attack for or run away. I mean, I would gladly attack right now. You are fucked! If I'm gonna die, anyways, I might as well just, like, attack. Uh, no, I, I don't, I'm not sure, because, like, what if you, like, end up killing her? Like, somehow, if you don't die yourself. I don't think I'm gonna kill her with one hit. Alright. You actually... Oh, okay, I missed. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh, get away. Oh, yeah, she... I think, like, as the battle goes on, she's less willing to hurt you. Okay. Then fight me or leave, and she... Yeah, oh! that's like less of them. Oh, it's because I'm at 2 HP. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> ah! I'm invincible! <laughs> now he's just <laughs> running towards them. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop looking at me that way. No. I am immune. Slap I am immune. BURN ME! <laughs> she can't burn me. Go away. Okay. Runs towards her. <laughs> Get out of my box! <laughs> I wish all enemies were like this. <laughs> I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. Uh... Talk. Okay, that didn't help. Yeah, you have to keep sparing. I promise I will take good care of you here. <laughs> no, no you won't. <laughs> I am covered in several burn wounds. I have a slap mark and several burns. Yeah. I know we do I'll not have much, but... <laughs> we can have a good life here. Mm-hmm. Why are you making this so difficult? I don't know. I... I... I don't know. <laughs> Please, go upstairs. No. Oh, you made it sad. Ha ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Well, 
Maybe if you didn't burn them. Yeah. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Ah. Yes, hug away the burns. Yeah. Goodbye, my child. Yeah. Maybe if parents hug their kids more instead of abusing them or burning them, then they wouldn't grow up to be such little shits. And isn't that something that we can all learn from? Yeah. We are teaching good family morals in this series. Okay, we're getting to... I, I know... I know the next two characters... Oh, never mind. I do not... Rem okay. Uh, clever! Very clever! I can't remember my own voice for this guy. Oh, that, that was close. You think you're, you think you're really smart, don't you? Mm-hmm. In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you're able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. No, no I don't. I'm at 2 HP. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? I'll do some gardening. <laughs> you'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. I feel like I've met this person before. Yeah. Online. What will, will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. You're a, you're a plant. What do you want with a cave yeah. system? I am the prince of this world's future. You're a flower. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. There, this is so much more interesting. Um... Cool story, bro. Okay, so if we stand here, piranha plants won't come out under us. <laughs> okay, now as I was saying, I know we're about to meet two certain characters, and like, the reason I wanted to do this is because I figured that both of us could each voice one of them, and we would fit them pretty well. <laughs> oh god. All right. Uh, Here's the thing. One of these guys, when I played this game with a friend a few years ago, I did the voice for him, and I practiced it a lot. So, whatever, let's just get to that part. All right. It's really nice, and the scenery here is pretty good compared to... Is that another ah. stick? Oh. Yeah. Uh. It's a tough-looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. What was that? It broke. Oh. It broke when it went behind the tree. Uh. There's someone following you. <laughs> oh, that's a neat bridge. Looks kind of, kind of weird. Oh, yeah. hey, stranger. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to this, like, when it's uploaded and hear how shitty my audio sounds. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. No touching hands, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Hmm. 
Eh, <laughs> <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? It's the funny skeleton man. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Very funny, very cool. I'm actually supposed yeah. to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Oh, quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. The fuck? <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus! We'll get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day! I feel attacked. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Ah, uh, he said a funny. Sans! <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Egg! I will attend to my puzzles! As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Very funny. Didn't laugh. Okay, you can come out now. How did he not see us? <laughs> Yeah. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Oh boy. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Hmm. In the middle of the snowy forest. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. I like this guy. <laughs> he has good taste. God. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Alright, if you say so. 
I'm just at 2 All HP. Right. I would like to have some ketchup oh, packets to maybe fix that. God. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Walks the opposite direction. <laughs> I I'm probably not remembering this I think that's just a thing in this game. Like, he goes the wrong way and shows up somewhere else. <laughs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Okay, let's open that box and hope there's food. Open the box. Use the box? No, we'll open the box. Oh. Oh, I can put stuff in. Uh, my stick hasn't done anything. Well, I could probably yeah. use it at some point, so... Yep. This is a box. Nifty. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Thank you. Okay, no thank you. Wow. Snow Drake flutters forth. Also, I guess my health is restored now because we went through the title sequence. Yeah. Uh, let's tell a joke. Alright. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. I've heard that one. Oh, whoop. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Assessing Snow the crowd. Assessing the crowd. Uh, laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything fun. Uh, oh. Heckle. Okay. You boo the Snowdrake. Wow, that's offensive. Yeah. It smells like a wet pillow. Check. <sighs> okay. I guess Chuck just gives us the stats. This teen comedian fights... Yeah. I guess we have to, like, either joke or laugh to make him feel better? I don't know. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Okay, we can laugh now. I guess. <laughs> you laugh at Snow Jake's pun! See? He said, see, laughs, dad was wrong. <laughs> God. Snow Jake is pleased with its cool joke. Alright. Well. Oh, boy. There we go. Yeah. Um, so, next time we'll go one of two ways down the road. Um, I would say comment below to tell us which way to go, but most of the people that would watch this have probably already seen this game. So, and the chances of getting comments are yeah. even less than that. But, eh. Uh, we got out of the ruins. That and also I just... Huh? Mm, that's what matters. Yeah. But, uh... All I'm hoping is that my audio isn't as shitty as I'm thinking it's gonna be. Hmm. Well, well, we'll try. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. And... We'll see what happens next time as Nick explores this snowy underground forest.